as a seller, I mean, there's everything wrong with this idea. In my, in my standpoint, there's everything wrong with this idea. How do you as a buyer think? How do you think the person that the listing agent hired to sell their home for as much money as possible is all of a sudden going to help you, random buyer off the street that I just met, save money out of the listing, out of the seller's pocket. That is a fundamental misconception and it's wrong and it's stupid. And the sellers will most certainly in this scenario, look at their representative and say, well, we're giving a little bit of a discount on the commission to the buyer. What's my benefit out of that? So if you, if you, Mr. Realtor, are reducing the commission to represent that buyer, I want to cut of that too. Like I want to save some, some money in this process. The big thing too is the sellers are under contract as agents with a fiduciary relationship with the sellers where they're legally obligated to do everything in their best interest. As soon as a, another person comes into the picture as a buyer, you have to know that that, that agent cannot possibly have the same um, responsibility and, uh, to, and relationship with both parties in the same transaction. So if you're going to the, selling aid, the seller's agent for that representation to save money, they're not treating you the same way and their best interests are lying with the seller. So first of all, in the province of Ontario, it is still legal um, to, to do this type of transaction where one realtor, one broker represents both parties. Yes. But let's just say there's no commission, special arrangement with commission here. And it's the only offer on the property. Okay. Because once you get into multiple offers and bidding wars, it changes the dynamics of everything completely. Now, as one licensed individual in your example of, or your comment of having that fiduciary obligation to whoever you're contracted under, how do you sit in a chair or have a Zoom meeting or have a phone call with your seller and say, we have an offer coming in from this buyer. I am also representing this buyer. And then you right. turn around to the buyer and the buyer asks you, well, how much do you think we should offer on this property? Right. How do you answer that? Your goal is supposed to be to get as much money as possible for the home that you're selling on behalf of the client, uh, seller clients. And now your goal should be to try and buy that home as cheap as possible for your buyer clients.